are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts. Come and do what you do. Now listen. Listen. Speaking is only one of the keys that activate faith. Believing is only one of the keys that activate faith. God is showing you what you might be doing wrong. Please sit for a few minutes. For many of us, all we do is in the name of Jesus, I am rising. I'm going from glory to glory. Wonderful. You are not wrong. But speaking is not the only key connected to the miracles that you desire. Speaking is powerful. But the speaking is only activated when you satisfy the conditions For instance, Apostle, there's nobody who wants to help me. There's nobody who wants to be my friend. No, and you begin to declare in the name of Jesus, good people are coming into my life. Wonderful, but that will remain as a confession. There is a condition for friends that he who desires friends must first show himself friendly. It is your responsibility to master the laws of relationship. And while you are studying, heaven is marking your script that you are truly preparing yourself to meet a destiny helper. It is your understanding the dynamics of relationship. That is, you are satisfying the participatory roles. Don't just confess. And then a bad attitude drives a destiny helper. Recycles your pain for another four years. Believers, hear me. The Bible is able to make men wise even unto salvation because it opens us up to the responsibilities. Are we together now? Yes. Apostle, I want people to listen to me. I want people to love me, whether in business or ministry. There are many dynamics to it. It is not just the grace of God. The anointing is... Look, let me tell you something. The anointing finds its credence from knowledge and intelligence. When, when the anointing comes upon, um, comes upon a life that is not enlightened, it will short circuit the potential of that anointing. The value of the anointing is when it comes upon an enlightened mind. Thou anointed my head, not my cup. The problem is not the cup. I want to see results in my cup, but what is anointed is my head. That's where the information is. So the anointing comes in partnership with the information that is on your head. And the result shows on your cup. So if you want him to anoint your cup, it doesn't work that way. The problem is not the cup. The cup is a report card. Thou anointest my head with oil. And then my cup shows what is on my head. Are we together? Yes. So you must find out there is a law called the law of competence and that competence is like a magnet. It is able to not just attract people but it gives you the luxury of selecting the kind of people. So if you want to be able to deal, you see miracles attract multitudes but it is wisdom that attracts kings. So when you want to meet kings, it takes more than being a miracle worker. The queen of Sheba was not moved by Solomon's, uh, all of the stories she was hearing because she had resolved herself. The prophet said, arise, Isaiah 60 and verse 1, shine for thy light is come. Amplified says, arise from the depression and prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. He says, for your light is come and the glory of God is is risen upon you he says for darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people but upon you the glory of the lord shall arise verse 3 says gentiles shall come to your light he didn't say kings will come to your light kings don't come to light they come to the brightness of your rising when they begin to see your results they don't come it's too cheap for them to come but they are watching 
they know consistency is proof of mastery so they watch please these are kingdom keys that are applicable you can take it out of this service and know i now know why a certain kind of people are not coming to my shop it's not just a demonic attack excellence is a language there are those who can speak it just like your language here so when you begin to speak that language you will hear a response from those who can't speak it when you understand faith you will know that a major part of faith lies with the believer not god are we blessed so you make up your mind that i'm going to be competent as a minister in the name of Jesus, I will be competent because I desire the nations to hear my voice. God will not announce what does not look like him. He will keep building you till you look like him. There is, there is a requisite level of spiritual competence that you must attain for him to blow you like a shofar to the nations. It's not just saying, I'm not just talking of excellence in the flesh alone. A track record of diligence with the spirit. I know God will do it. It looks like it's a, it's a very comforting statement, but it's not spiritual. Are we blessed? So you must find out the conditions that are attached to the things that you desire. I desire restoration. There is a condition. I desire kingdom wealth and prosperity. There is a restore. There is there is um what they call it. There's a condition. Now the pandemic sadly has hit across the nations and many people are trusting God for increase. Many people are trusting God. You need more than wealth. You need favor. That's what you need. And the proof of favor, sir, is that your hands are never empty. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. So emptiness has an explanation. When your hands are empty, there is a, an exact spiritual law you are breaking that is responsible for that outcome. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the B part. The Bible says, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. I've always said it that when the grace for favor is on you, only a blind man ignores you. The Bible says favor works with the power of sight. That when it truly is upon you, anyone who looks upon you is compelled to bless you. But for many years we've been taught that favor is unmerited. It is only favor as it relates to salvation that is unmerited. Every other dimension is merited. Proverbs 13 and verse 15. The very definition of favor is why we don't get it. Good understanding does what? So understanding is a giver. And the name of what it gives is favor. Transgression is also a giver. The name of what it gives is hardship. Hardship has an exact explanation. Many things that we think are just have hazard are products of our violating or obeying spiritual laws. You have to be meek enough to accept this in this morning service. This is the key that activates the realm of the spirit. So you leave this service taking responsibility. Knowing that this is not just God's fault.